Recently, I've read about various studies conducted regarding speaking time based on gender. And here are a few things that I found. Number one is that women get interrupted more than men. Two researchers at George Washington University conducted a study just back in 2014 where they put 20 women and men in pairs. They then recorded and studied their individual conversations. The result was that over the course of each three minute conversation, women interrupted men one time on average, but they interrupted other women 2.8 times. Men interrupted their male conversation partner twice and women 2.6 times, meaning both men and women interrupt other women more. So how does this apply to you, school, and citizenship? Well, because the above statements relate and apply to classroom speaking time as well. A study in 2004 from Harvard Law School classrooms found that male students were 50% more likely to volunteer at least one comment during class than female pupils. What's more, male students were also found to be 144% more likely to volunteer speaking at least thrice. Another study from the classroom way back in 1985 found that in classes with a male professor, men spoke two and a half times longer than their female classmates. However, when female professors led classrooms, the study described that it had an inspiring effect on the female students, leading women to speak three times as much as they did with a male instructor. And this doesn't just happen in a university-style setting. In middle and elementary school studies conducted by Myra and David Sacker in 1994, things were arguably worse. In classroom discussions, boys called out answers eight times more than girls, and they were more likely to be listened to, whereas girls who shouted out answers were way more likely to be told to raise their hands. Boys also tended to raise their hands in more disrupted ways, such as jumping out of their chair and making noise to plead for attention. If you want to find out if this happens at your school, you can collect data like I did. I was able to collect some very good data because of the diverse classes I am in when it comes to gender ratio. Class number one had many comments from girls, but this was probably due to the factors that A, there were more girls than boys, and B, the class size altogether was very small. Class number two was the polar opposite. It had a very large class with very few girls. In this class, girls never spoke out even once, and the boys mostly bantered back and forth with the male teacher. Class numbers three and four had an almost even number of girls and boys. So why are the comments so skewed? In class four, there weren't many comments altogether, but the teacher did a fantastic job when it came to making them even by engaging in a few steps, whether on purpose or not. Firstly, they waited a little after asking a question before calling on people. This made sure that everyone had a chance to think before raising their hand. More girls also participated in raising their hand. As I've noticed from my data, many girls' hands go up as soon as the teacher calls on someone else. Secondly, this teacher also never interrupted students, regardless of gender, and made sure to maintain eye contact with the student. They may have also purposely been calculating the number of boys and girls they call on when teaching the lesson. Heading back over to class four, this is what I would call normal classroom dynamics. Whereas even though boys and girls are fairly equal when it comes to numbers, and the class size is standard, boys clearly spoke out far more than girls. In fact, in this example, boys spoke almost two and a half times more than girls. Summarize our data, girls speak more in smaller classes and when the large majority of the class is populated with them. When the number of boys is much greater than the number of girls, girls hardly speak, if at all. In a normal setting, boys speak about 2.5 times more than girls on average, but simple steps can be taken by teachers and students to ensure more equal outcomes. This matters because obviously this happens for a reason, and I'm willing to bet that reason has to do with deeply ingrained social perceptions regarding gender. It is believed that gender bias and stereotypes start right from the home. Some studies show that parents, specifically fathers, will interrupt their daughters more than their sons, teaching girls from an early age that boys are more important, dominant, and respected. And right from there, all this translates into the classroom and into life. Of course, it's very difficult to analyze gender gaps and inequality since there are so many overlapping factors. Summarize, 
Women get interrupted more than men on a regular basis. They also cover less speaking time in group conversations, as well as in the classroom. And this all probably starts right from the home. So, now what you can do as a student to help in five points. Number one, if you are a male or female student, try to be more aware of when you talk and if, you're in, and if you interrupt someone. If you do interrupt someone or find that you're dominating the conversation floor, apologize and try letting the other person or people speak for a little while. Number two, if you are a teacher and you are watching this, be very mindful of who you call on during class. If you interrupt a student and when you call on someone. To reiterate, oftentimes girls raise their hands just as another student is called on to begin speaking. Number three, if you really do think this is a hefty problem in your school, I encourage you to collect your own data as shown and perhaps make a comment to your teachers referencing the advice just said. If you are a girl, I encourage you to speak up, raise your hand and participate in a class discussion. Maybe try to make a personal goal for yourself and say, I will raise my hand at least once a day in class. And number five, lastly, when girls are reminded to be polite and boys' behavior is brushed off, this unfortunate phenomenon continues. So I encourage girls alike to use these key sentences to help steer the floor back to them when it was stolen. Excuse me, I wasn't finished speaking. I just said that and stop interrupting me. Don't ever be afraid.